The Olympics are the pinnacle of sport, where each country sends its top athletes to compete at the greatest level and represent their country. The NBA is the world's premier basketball league, and it has its own set of rules rather than following the rules that apply to the rest of the globe. The international regulations apply in the Olympic competition. Thus, the US must alter its game to comply with the same rules as everyone else. In today's video, we're going to discuss why the Olympic rules are different in basketball to the NBA rules. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. The dimensions of the court are different. Although they are close, the international and NBA courts do not completely line up. The NBA courts measure 50 feet wide by 94 feet long, while the Olympic court measures 49 feet wide by 92 feet long. The three-point line as a result is somewhat closer all the way around. At FIBA 3 measures 21.65 feet in the corners and 21.15 feet above the break, while an NBA 3 measures measures 22 feet in the corners and 23.75 feet above the break. Team USA has had an advantage due to the various dimensions. Sure, the spacing could be a tad tight. The NBA's greatest, on the other hand, can cover the smaller court a half a second faster and make shorter three-pointers look like long-range layups. The Olympic Games only allow five fouls. The NBA permits players to accumulate six fouls before being ejected from a game, with two technical fouls resulting in immediate ejection. Only five fouls are allowed in Olympic basketball before a player is forced to sit out for good. Both allow teams to reach the bonus after five team fouls in a quarter. When the fouled player shoots free throws instead of taking the ball back out of bounds with a reset shot clock after each foul. Playing time. FIBA uses four 10-minute quarters in the international competition. Of course, NBA quarters are 12 minutes long, resulting in a shorter game. During the Olympics in terms of time, for any overtime, the two basketball governing bodies employ five-minute intervals. On the subject of timing, the Olympics also use a 24-second shot clock, with each over time lasting five minutes. There is no goal tending, almost none. Just as in the NBA, you can't touch a shot on its way down before it reaches the rim. In any league, that is cheating. All bets are off after a ball bounces off the iron, and with Team USA's better agility, that's a clear advantage because there is no offensive interference. DeAndre Jordan and DeMarcus Cousins can go crazy for putback dunks while the ball is still above the hoop. On the other hand, they can capture defensive rebounds while the ball is still bouncing around the rim, allowing them to create transition opportunities while the opposing team is caught off guard. Traveling rules are stricter. If the officials are diligent, this one will aggravate Team USA to no end. Coach Nick, a friend of the program, informs us that in international competition, a player cannot take two steps after grabbing the ball, as in the NBA. When a player lands with a staggered step, like in that clip, FIBA rules specify that the first foot to reach the floor is the pivot foot. However, NBA rules state that the rear foot is the pivot. It's complicated and Team USA is at a distinct disadvantage because of it. Less timeouts. The discrepancy in timeouts between the FIBA's normal international rules and the NBA's is significant. The FIBA rules, which are indicated in the Olympics, are rather basic. In this game, each side receives two timeouts in the first half and three timeouts in the second half, with only one timeout in the extra session. Each timeout is one minute long. In the NBA, seven timeouts of 75 seconds each can be called on at any point throughout the game. In addition, in the final three minutes of the fourth quarter, a maximum of two timeouts can be called. In the event of overtime, each side is given two additional timeouts. Another significant distinction is that in the NBA, even a player can request a timeout if he believes the circumstance warrants it. In other FIBA-based sports, however, only the coach has the authority to call timeouts. No defensive three-second violation. Just as in the NBA, you can't touch a shot on its way down before it reaches the rim. In any league that's cheating, all bets are off after the ball bounces off the iron. And with Team USA's better agility, that's a clear advantage because there is no offensive interference. DeAndre Jordan and DeMarcus Cousins can go crazy for putback dunks while the ball is still above the hoop. On the other hand, they can capture defensive rebounds while the ball is still bouncing around the rim, allowing them to create transition opportunities while the opposing team is caught off guard. Tip-off is the only jump ball. Any held ball situation after the first tip results in alternating possession. Yes, the possession arrow is used in Olympic basketball. May the basketball gods have mercy on us because of our blunders. This is obviously a disadvantage for Team USA. If international play included jump balls after two players take control at the same time, the American bigs would win at least 75% of the time. Tokyo Olympics and everything you need to know. The Tokyo Olympics are set to go place this summer after an extraordinary year of postponement. Fans curious about what to expect from the other global sporting events should expect a summer game unlike any other, both in terms of what is expected and what isn't. The Summer Olympics will begin on July 23rd with the opening ceremony and end on August 8th with the closing ceremony. It's been postponed a year due to the coronavirus outbreak. Some events, like softball and men's and women's soccer tournaments, begin on July 21st, a day before the games officially begin. The host city is Tokyo, and the majority of the events will take place there. However, 
a number of sports will be held in other Japanese cities and towns. For example, road cycling will take place in the foothills of Mount Fuji, surfing will take place 40 minutes outside of Tokyo on the country's eastern coast, and the men and women's marathons, as well as race walking events, will be hosted in Sapporo, 500 miles north of Tokyo. Baseball and softball games will be staged in Fukushima and Yokohama, while soccer matches will be hosted in six places. Concerns were raised in January 2020 regarding the potential impact of the COVID-19 epidemic on Olympic athletes and tourists. Tokyo organizers stated that the disease spread was being closely monitored in order to limit its impact on Olympic preparations. According to the IOC, their Japanese partners, including Prime Minister Abe Shinzo, made it very clear in 2020 that Japan could not manage a postponement beyond next summer 2021 at the absolute latest. Unlike the Zika virus, which was transferred directly between humans during the 2016 Summer Olympics in Rio de Janeiro, SARS-CoV-2 can be transmitted directly between humans, posing more hurdles for organizers to combat the infectious disease while hosting a sporting event. Pandemic fears started to affect qualifying events in early 2020. Some events that were scheduled for February have been rescheduled due to worries about traveling to the affected areas, particularly China. The women's basketball qualifier, for example, was held in Belgrade, Serbia, rather than Foshan, China. The boxing qualification tournament was scheduled to take place from the 3rd to the 14th of February in Wuhan, China, the site of the COVID-19 pandemic's initial outbreak, but was instead held in Amman, Jordan, in early March. As a part of a wider suspension of international sporting contests in reaction to the epidemic, remaining qualifying events scheduled for March to June 2020 have been postponed until later in the year in 2021. Archery, baseball, cycling, handball, judo, rowing, sailing, volleyball, and water polo were among the Olympic sports affected. It is evident that this postponement was the best decision, not only for those competing, but all of those coming to watch and cheer on their country. Although COVID is still around and affecting thousands across the globe, it has definitely calmed down, and now that the vaccine has been rolled out across the globe, it seems as though things are looking up globally and that the July 2021 Olympics will be a great event. Athletes to watch. The United States will present a star-studded team in Tokyo, with several individuals vying for several medals. Simone Biles, the defending Olympic all-around champion and a five-time world champion, is determined to make history. Katie Ledecky and Caleb Dressel are anticipated to compete for five or more medals in the pool on the track. Noah Lyles and Michael Norman are part of a new generation of American sprinters, while Allison Felix will compete in her fifth Olympics. The men and women's basketball teams will comprise of a who's who's of all-stars, while the women's soccer team will include Megan Rapino and Rose Lavelle, who both won the 2019 World Cup. And there you have it. Everything you need to know regarding the differing rules in the NBA compared to that of the international Olympic rules when it comes to basketball. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss any of our new and upcoming content. Thanks for watching!